Hello, my YouTube family. I am home. It is 6.19 p.m. on, is today Wednesday? Yeah, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, December 11th, 2013. People, let us get started. And before I do get started, I just need to tell you that tomorrow is the holiday party and I'm not going. Not the way I'm feeling. No. I'll skip this one. I did the first two since I've been at the job. 2011, 2012, went to both. It's not going to be a big deal if I skip this one. Hopefully by next year, both legs will be up and running. And then when the holiday party comes around next year, boom, I'll be there. Because y'all remember last year I was drunk, right? Anyway, um, lips of the day. Lips of the day, people. This is, well, first of all, let's start with the liner because you're not going to believe the liner that actually went with this. The liner that went with this was NYX Deep Purple. That's right. Deep Purple. Deep Purple lined and this old-fashioned Milani. Remember this? these packaging? This old-fashioned Milani packaging? Well, this is in the color... Tuscan Red. And I know I forgot to swatch last yesterday, so I'll try not to forget today. This is Tuscan Red. And it's more of a maroon, like a reddish maroon, as you can tell. Um, it is of the red family, but it's got a touch of brown in there as well. So that is Tuscan Red. Smooth. Staying power galore. Here we go. Somebody's talking. He knows exactly when I sit here. That's when he needs attention. He's like a child. He's like a child. And you know, I did not want children. But I got one with four legs and fur. So, anyway, this is Tuscan Red, an old fashion maroonish red lipstick I got this at Amazon um, I don't know if they could they still sell these every once in a while in like a discount bin you can find these old-fashioned packaging and they're you know in the clearance bin you can find these every once in a while but if you absolutely adore the color Amazon and that is lips of the day but as you can see, Nancy's like, you know, she got eyeshadow and eyeliner and all sorts of stuff. So I want to show you. He is scratching behind me. I want to show you that the eyeshadow that I am using is in the Wet n Wild palette. This is the Wet n Wild palette. On cloud nine. And of course, the color I'm using is this one. Let me open this up. Put these brushes away. And I am using the bottom one, this one where it says eyelid. That is the light blue that I am wearing all over. And I'm, I have a dark blue liner, which is this CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. And I don't know what color this is, people, because um, it doesn't have a name. Um, I'm thinking it's called Ocean, but I don't, yeah, it, uh, it miraculously, I, I think they really forgot to put, they, they forgot to type the name. But it's this really potent blue. And I got that lined. So there you go. I'm getting all fancy hoity-toity. And I'm telling you, whoever created this, this Too Faced Shadow Insurance is the ish. Since I've been wearing this, I haven't seen a crease, nor hide, nor hair. Love it. Love it. And I'm also wearing something new from my, well, the the this is from one of my hauls. The very, very, very first haul. And this is from the e.l.f. haul. This is my blush in Peachy. Remember I showed you Peachy? That is peachy. And you know how I'm going crazy about looking for a rose gold shade. 
Peachy is pretty much in that sh in that category. Oh, I don't think it'll spill. There it is. It's really not showing true to form. It's a little darker than that, but it's got no shimmer, even though it looks like it may have shimmer. If it does, it doesn't show up on my skin. So this is Peachy. You should see it on the e.l.f. site. That's what really made me fall in love with it. The Peachy on the e.l.f. site is the actual color. So go on the e.l.f. site, eyeslipsface.com, and look for Mineral Blush. I think this is in the studio line. I'm not sure. And look for Peachy, because this, shat this, this shadow, this blush is the ish. I love it. I absolutely love it. And this morning I looked at it and I said, wait a minute. I have one that looks just like this. Hold on. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this. They're the same packaging. My bad. Same packaging. This is peachy. This is peachy. You see peachy? And this is poppy. And I really thought that they were the same, but poppy is lighter. Poppy is absolutely lighter than peachy. So, but I'm thinking it's the same manufacturer who... Hello? I mean, come on now. So, I really thought that I had bought a dupe for Poppy, but Poppy is a lot lighter than Peachy. So, I've got two different colors. But they're very similar. But but Peachy is of the more sun-kissed peach. And Poppy is a lighter, lighter shade. Very nice. Very nice. So, um... That is it, people. That is lips of the day. I have to tell you that for the longest time, for at least a good three months or so, three or four months, maybe longer, I'm not sure, I haven't seen Old Man. And at first I thought he was on vacation when one week went by and then two weeks went by and I was like, oh, damn, he's taking a long vacation. But then three, four, five weeks went by and I'm like, maybe he got fired. So, of course, he worked with Cutie. So I had to ask Cutie. I said, what happened to old man? You know, I'm using their names, his name. And he said, oh, you didn't hear? I said, what? And I'm like holding my breath. And he goes, he had a stroke. I fell out. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, he had a stroke. He's been in the hospital. Oh, look who it is. He's been in the hospital for a while. I think he's home recuperating now. So I said, oh, so it's really not that serious? He goes, I really don't know the details, but yeah, he suffered a stroke. And um, that's why you haven't seen him in a long time. I was like, wow. I mean, one minute you're there, not that he's dead, but you know, one minute you're feeling fine, like me, and then the next minute something's wrong with you, like in the blink of an eye. And you don't see it coming. You don't so that kind of, you know, as much as he was a pain in the ass, especially when he saw me and Cutie talking, I, you know, I didn't, I never wished ill on the man. So I really hope he recuperates very quickly. What is he doing? Yeah, you caught in the act. And off he goes, because he's busted. much better. So that is the update, people. Um, old man had a, suffered a stroke, but thankfully it doesn't seem like it's that serious. I don't know if he'll come back to work or not. So that takes care of that. And tomorrow's the holiday party and I won't be attending this one. And this one is like in a fancy hoity-toity place. Um, the Garden City Hotel. I've had we've I, I've been there before at a holiday party when I worked at um, the radio station, but um, 
and I'm not going to say what radio station. I probably mentioned it in my earlier videos, but I'm not going to mention it. Because I left there in not such great, great shakes. I was let go. Downright fired. After 17 years. Because Bitchmeister General, that's what I nicknamed her. As soon as the, the management had changed and Bitchmeister General took over as the um, sales supervisor or whatever the hell her sales manager, as soon as she came in, I knew she had targeted me. I, I just knew it. You know when you feel somebody hating on you for no apparent reason, they've never said hello to you, they don't know who you are, but they just immediately heat on you. So it's like, oh, okay. And I knew, I knew. I mean, I would tell people all over the office, yeah, she wants me fired. And one day, I don't know what it was. I was doing my work. She called me in the office and she's like, well, things are just not working out. And I was like, what? She was extremely difficult to work for. She was like a, she was like a female man. You know, a smoker, and her voice was scratchy like this. Seriously. So, and I, I nicknamed her Bitchmeister General, because that's exactly what she was to me. I don't know what it was. I tried to be nice to her. There was a point where she had to, she had to go to the hospital for something, and I, you know, I would close the door, and I would ask her to talk to me about it, and she would confide in me a little bit, and then all of a sudden, she turns on me like a viper. I don't know what it was. So, um, yeah. So I don't have, I, after, with all those years that I'd worked there and I started, I, I used to say that that was my favorite job in the world. And I used to come home and say, I love my job. I love my job. When I transferred from a receptionist, I started as a receptionist and I transferred upstairs to the sales department. Everything changed. Everything changed. I became a sales assistant. Yeah, everything changed. And I would no longer come home and say, I love my job. So, you would think I would I would try to think of the Fonz memories, but she muddied up those waters so much that when I think about it, I immediately, unfortunately, think of her and I immediately hate the job. So, yeah. I don't know where that came from, but I, I felt I needed to share. So there you have it. Um, this is Lips of the Day. Very short and sweet and to the point. I have nothing else to show you. Um, eyeshadow, eyeliner, I've showed you. Um, blush, I've showed you. And that's basically it. And yes, I did use my mineral, br my mineral brush for my mineral blush. So, yeah, very nice. You can see a pop of color. It's it's very nice. Very, very nice. And, um, no, I haven't gotten off the rose gold blush benefit rocketeur thing yet. I haven't ordered it. Don't worry. I haven't hit checkout. I haven't. No, um... I think the, 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 the want of it is fading, but now I've fallen in love with another blush. I saw the blush. I don't know why I haven't seen this blush before. The blush is a MAC Mineralize. It's MAC Mineralize in Lovejoy. Where the hell was I when that, when that blush came out? It is so pretty. But see, MAC blush is 21 bucks, man, people. And I know... Benefits Rockateur is even more than that. And I was almost going to hit checkout on that. So $21 wouldn't have been nothing. But it's I haven't hit checkout, which is the point. And Lovejoy. If somebody can find an exact dupe of MAC Lovejoy blush for me, let me know. Please. Because that blush is the ish. Okay? A Lovejoy and Glee. Glee is a little lighter than Lovejoy, but Lovejoy is the one that has my heart right now. So you can see I'm still on the blush kick. Haven't gotten over it yet, but I'm strong enough not to hit checkout. I'm so proud of myself. I get to it. 
I get to it and I put everything in my bag and I go, I go to checkout. I just don't check out. I go to checkout and I just sit there. And that's when that strong urge says, don't do it. You don't need it. Don't do it. And then I, I walk away and I go and do something else. But I was looking at something. Oh, I think I, I put in the um, Google images search rose gold blushes. And I think that's how Lovejoy came up. I don't understand why, because it doesn't really look like a rose goldish kind of a blush. Yet the shade is magnificent. Where the hell was I? And if anybody, I'm telling you, seriously, if any of you know a dupe for Mac Lovejoy that's not $21, oops, he's under, he's under the table, and my feet are in his way. If any of you know a dupe that's not an expensive dupe for Mac Lovejoy, hit me up, leave a comment on the bottom. Please, because that blush... is the ish so that is that so that's my new that's my new thing i'm going with now. i'm still on the blush mode i'm still on looking for the rose gold that i'm looking for and i'm i'm realizing slowly but surely i have looked at pr practically all the um videos for rose gold blushes and it is rare and i do mean very rare that a woman of my skin tone does a review because I'm thinking maybe rose gold doesn't show up on my skin tone. So maybe there aren't that many women of color who have a rose goldish blush because rose gold doesn't show up on us. So I really should take that as a hint. But the color rose gold is very, very sweet and very, very nice. And I would really love to find a rose gold. This is, I mean, I'm asking for the impossible at this point. A rose gold matte blush get to work <laughs> go and look for me um i don't think i can find one that's without shimmer the 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 rocketeur has a little bit of shimmer um although i uh, somebody on some some video i was watching yesterday said that the outer part is shimmer but the word rock is matte so it's a matte and a shimmer but even so, the shimmer doesn't really show up that much if you blend it in rather well. But even, well, she had a similar skin tone. She was still a little lighter than me, but she was of a woman, a woman of color, a young girl. And she said that she had to pack it on to really get it to show up. So I'm thinking, no, this is really not for me. This is really not for me at all. But I'm still on it. I... Help me. You know when I'm on something, right? Just like the matte violetta. Just like the matte violetta. But I refuse. I simply refuse to break and buy the Benefit blush. I refuse to break and buy it because it's really expensive. And um, it's really expensive. And I, am, I just know there's something out there that's a dupe for it that will show up on my skin. There's got to be. There's makeup all over this world for every skin tone, the darkest of the dark to the lightest of the light. And there's got to be a rose gold that'll fit my skin tone. So what is the problem? Anyway, people, that's it. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know. And yes, please, please, please. I need a dupe for Rocketeur and I need a dupe for Love Joy. Help me. Help me. Okay? I know you will. I know you can come through for me. I love you all. And I will see you probably tomorrow early because the Christmas party starts from 3, 3 p.m. to 7 or 7.30 or something like that. But it's all the way at the um, Garden City Hotel. And I'm not going. So when everybody leaves at 3 and goes to, I'll be hitting right back here. So I may do a video rather early tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Okay? Who knows? Maybe at the very last minute I'll change my mind and I'll say, okay, fine, I'll go. I highly doubt it, though, because I don't want to be a burden sitting there with a cane and a drink and asking somebody to constantly get a drink for me because I can't keep getting up to get my own drink. No, this is the reason why I don't want to go. So, um, I don't think I really 
will be going. So you just very well may see me early tomorrow. In any event, I will definitely, well, yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. Oh, <laughs> that means I'm coming home early, which means Pop will be here. So it'll all depend on him, but I doubt we'll be talking that much. Then again, you never know. It's Thursday. So if you see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. And I'll explain why if you don't on Friday, whether I actually went to the party or not, or, you know, Pop just held me up and we just got into chatting. Love him so very much. In any event, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know. Help me out. And um, I will talk to you, if not tomorrow, then Friday. Okay? I love you. Bye now.